Hi everybody, I am Alessandro Boncio, this is RenderKing.it and uh, this is my first RealFlow tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a really smooth and realistic surface with RealFlow. To create a really really realistic and smooth mesh you have to learn a little secret that I learned myself playing around a lot with RealFlow and working uh, all around as freelance I've grabbed some little secrets from my colleagues and today I uh, wanna show you and share with you. First of all let's see the scene as you can see this is the same scene you have seen rendered and um, the first uh, the first thing I wanna tell you it's about the secret yeah um, you have to keep in mind that to create a so cool and uh, smooth mesh you have to find the correct balance between five different points the first one is the, the dy physical dynamics because when you work with the real flow you're working on uh, on a simulated uh, realistic world and so you have to remember and keep in mind that you have to use physics uh, of course the first one it's the gravity but it's more very important that you understand that when the fluid touches your uh, surface your surface is made of a material and so another very important behavior a physical behavior it's the friction yeah so in this case we have a wood and so it's a, a really rough material so I have used uh, a lot of friction and that helps a lot to create a realistic behavior. The second thing is the particle speed. You have to remember that if the speed is too slow, you will have some strange behaviors. You have you will have some particles explosion or stuff like that. The third thing is the amount of particles. You need to balance the exactly the exact uh, amount of particles you need. The first it's the solver resolution. You will have to increase the solver to to have a very very smooth surface. And the last one it's the measure. So if you learn to balance these five points, you will create a really smooth surface in a few steps. So now I have created the same scene with a, uh, without. Uh, anything but the object and the emitter and as you can see I given a little uh, movement to my emitter to create a much more realistic behavior of the fluid so I think we can start looking at what we have to do uh, first of all uh, press play and you can see a few particles that that are uh, falling down. <coughs> okay, let's put uh, select <coughs> the emitter and look what ha what happens in emission tab. Okay, the first first thing we can have to see is the speed 200. It's the default value and it's off uh, at the moment. The second thing is the uh, vertical random and um, we have to create an honey and uh, I think the 0.5 is a little too high so we have to slow go down to 0.3 and horizontal random 0.1 is uh, correct. Then uh, we, we can increase the number of, of the particles. To do that you have to select fluid and go into resolution and uh, give a lot more particles of maybe for example 200 or 2000 better and press play again yeah now we have 
a lot of spread particles and uh, they are going through the object and to fix that select the object right click and go to real flow tags collider okay now as you can see in interaction tag we have friction exactly this the thing i told you before okay so, so to uh, we have to change this value giving a lot more more friction because of the material i used that, that we are we are talking about wood uh, 45 for example it's okay for me and i wanna less bounce because uh, my my fluid has not a lot of bounce a point zero nine it's okay and uh, much more sticky no not too much or uh, oh, point five point six so it's okay and uh, more more uh, ra roughness okay uh, yeah or point one or 0.9 colliding factor um, we, we can stay with the fourth value let's see what happens P press play okay we can see two two important things the first one is that the uh, particles collide exactly with the with, with the surface if you, we had some trouble with this step we can change the collision distance here or even here and then we can see some particles that are uh, that going anyway so we have to remember that we are we, we are working on uh, simulated physics uh, ambient and we have we don't have to forget to add gravity that is the second uh, physical behavior physical dynamics with, that we need now you can see that we have no more particles that are going anyway okay but we also want a much more controlled uh, uh, p uh, particles uh, and uh, so we have to change the solver F we are using liquid PBD but I suggest to switch to liquid SPH to have a much more realistic fluid dynamic as okay as you can see now our particles are much more controlled but anyway going back to the uh, liquid um, fluid sorry uh, values we 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 can push much more on the resolution and we can also change some other um, uh, stuff like density we have to push much more to 10,000 and much more important it's the viscosity viscosity um, represent the fluid behavior one of the most important fluid behaviors and for um, honey I suggest to give you a value between 18 or 25 and um, I give 20 don't go too up with this value because we'll, you will have a strange behavior so, and internal pressure is 1 and surface tension is 0.1 and this is correct Let's go back press play now we can see that the fluid is uh, uh, more slow and as you can see we have some interruptions uh, some holes okay that's a problem because that means that we something is not going well and I suggest to you to solve this in two ways the first one is to uh, give much more speed to your particles let's see what happens if I give you I give to the uh, much more speed okay as you can see I have la uh, I, I don't have any hole because 
the, uh, much more speed me means that the distribution of the particles is better but I don't want more speed for for my honey so I have to increase um, the solver so pay attention to select the right one uh, we, we are using SPH solver and we have to change the sub steps okay um, when you change the sub steps pay attention to don't give too high values if you don't want to waste one week to calculate the simulation so for in this moment I can give for example uh, 150 and uh, 350 let's see what happens of my calculation will be a bit slower but as you can see yeah I still have some holes so let's give more and more uh, val uh, bigger values 300 and 500 go back and yeah now my uh, particles are distributed exactly how uh, no I still have some trouble here so what I can do is increase the number of particles go back to the fluid and uh, go back and give uh, 5,000 let's see okay now we have to give a bit more speed 250 let's see 300 and 325 let's see all right now we have fixed that point and we have a correct uh, fluid amount now we have to add a measure and check what happens if we we are going to create the mesh build the mesh and you can see that something is pretty strange uh, but we we can select this resolution change the resolution to low medium if you select a too big uh, to high resolution you will have some strange effect let's see uh, change the right the radius to point to to two point ten for example Okay. and build a mesh and as you can see we, we, we can see the groups of particles and uh, you, we, we can remove that, that thing in, uh, several, in di two different ways the first one is to change the resolution to a lower and it's a good point because we are, we are talking about honey so we don't, have, we don't need to see two details and that's okay and then we have to uh, change the these values auto build okay that's uh, not bad i want a much more thinness uh, point five point five all right and much more relax relax uh, i point uh, eight okay and uh, two as a relax iteration okay now now we go back and see what happens all 
All right. Seems that it's working. You can see that the surface it's pretty smooth. That's because we are we are using a quite big amount of particles and we balance with a pretty high um, liquid solver resolution. We also use it to increase, let's see here, look. Just a second, we have to, here have to restart, okay. Yeah, it's uh, correct, yeah. Uh, we used to uh, give more and more uh, speed to the particles because we, we, we need to, as I told you, we need to balance that, that those five, uh, five values. Oh, just a second, I wanna switch to my Octane user interface and add um, a honey um, a material and uh, let's see together how it works. Okay, and seems to me that it's work, it works pretty, pretty well. Yeah, as you can see, the surface is uh, correct. You don't have strange uh, artifacts and let's press O, okay. You don't have a strange artifacts and the surface is really, really smooth. And uh, that's all. As, as I told you, um, once you have learned to balance those five different, different uh, points between dynamics, amount of particles, particle speeds, and solver resolution and mesh resolution, you can create a really, really cool, really, really cool mesh fluid dynamics with uh, real flow. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can see, you can have and download uh, the final scene and take a look exactly at the, at the, the values I uh, used and you can see that are more or less the same I showed into, into the, um, the, tutor the tutorial. I'm pretty sure that they are the same uh, values. And if you have any question or anything else, please let me know, contact me through my site renderking.it. Thank you a lot and uh, see you soon on the next tutorial. Bye bye.